In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to solve a quadratic equation using completing the square method. Okay? So, the first question that we have here says solve 5x squared plus 13x minus 6 equal to 0. Now, let's solve. The first thing to do is to divide divide both sides by the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared here is 5. So I will divide this equation through by 5. And that is 5x squared all over 5 plus 13x all over 5 minus 6 all over 5 is equal to 0 all over 5. All right? 5, we cancel 5. So we have x squared plus 13 over 5 of x minus 6 all over 5 equal to what? 0. Because 0 over 5 is 0. What I will do now is to move this minus 6 over 5 away from the left and take it to the right. And obviously, if it crosses, it becomes 6 over 5. So, at the left, we have x squared plus 13x all over what? 5. What we'll do now is to add the square of half of the coefficient of x to both sides. The coefficient of x here is 13 over 5. So what is half of it? Let's see. 13 over 5. Half of it would be times 1 over 2. So this is 13 times 1 is 13. 5 times 2 is 10. This is half of it. The square of half is 13 over 10 all squared. So this is what I am adding to both sides of this equation. And so it will now be x squared plus 13x over 5 plus this, 13 all over 10 all squared, which is equal to 6 all over 5 plus the same 13 over 10 all squared. But I want to write this in another way. There's a reason for it. 13 over 10 all squared is equal to 169 over 100 because 13 squared is 169. 10 squared is 100. These two are the same. The reason for not simplifying this is because I will make use of it to factorize this left-hand side later. That's why I'm leaving it like this. But here, I have to simplify it. So, we have x squared plus 13x all over 5 plus 13 over 10 all squared, which is equal to, let's simplify this. The LCM of 5 and 100 is 100. 100 divided by 5 is 20. 20 times 6 is 120. 100 divided by 100 is 1, times 169 is 169, all right? And so what we have here is equal to 120 plus 169 is 289, all over what? 100. So this now is equal to this, all right? And so we have x squared plus 13x all over 5, plus 13 over 10 all squared is equal to what? 289 all over 100. So what I'll do now is to factorize this left-hand side. And this is how to do it in a very simple way. This is x squared plus 13x over 5, plus 13 over 10 all squared. What I'll do is pick the x, 
the sign of this middle term is plus. Write it down. Inside this square, I have 13 over 10. Square everything. Again, this is x squared. Write the x, leave the square. Pick the sign of this middle expression, which is plus. Then, here that we have 13 over 10 all squared, pick the 13 over 10, leave the square. And what is it equal to? 289 all over 100. We have to eliminate this square by taking the square root of both sides. If I take the square root of both sides, the square will take away the square root. Remember, square root is plus or minus. So we have x plus 13 all over 10 is equal to plus or minus. The square root of 289 is 17. And the square root of 100 is 10. x is equal to, I am moving this 13 over 10 to the other side. It becomes minus 13 all over 10, then plus or minus the 17 over 10. Let's simplify this. This is actually equal to, the LCM is 10, is common, 10. So just simply write minus 13 plus or minus 17. Now, what does plus or minus mean? Here we have minus 13 plus or minus 17 all over 10. This is what it means. It means that x is either equal to minus 13 plus 17 over 10, which is this, or the same x is equal to minus 13 minus 17 over 10, which we have here. This is what plus or minus mean, okay? And from here, minus 13 plus 17 is actually 17 minus 13, which is 4. Minus 13 minus 17 is minus 30, all over 10. Okay, let's break this down. 2 here is 2, 2 here is 5, okay? 10 here is 3, 10 here is 1. This is equal to what? 2 all over 5 or minus 3. Minus 30 divided by 10 is minus 3. So x is equal to this or this. All right, let's solve this equation using the same completing the square method. So just like what we did in the first question, we'll divide through by 4, which is the coefficient of x squared. So dividing through by 4, we have 4 cancel 4. So what do we have now? x squared. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then minus 3 all over 4 equal to 0. So the minus 3 over 4 we cross and turn to plus. We now have x squared minus 2x equal to minus 3 over 4 we cross and turn to plus 3 all over 4. Now we will add the square of half of the coefficient of x. to both sides. What is the coefficient of x here? It is minus 2. Minus 2. Half of it is divided by 2, which will give us what? Minus 1. So the square will now be when you square the minus 1. And what will this give us? Positive 1. So what we are adding to both sides is positive 1. And this equation will now be x squared minus 2x plus 1, which is equal to what? 3 all over 4 plus 1. Plus 1 is the same thing as seeing 1 squared, right? Okay, so let's simplify this. If you simplify 3 over 4 plus 1, using LCM, you will get 7 all over 4. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1 
is equal to what? 7 all over 4. Let's factorize this left hand side. Okay. This one, like we said, is actually 1 squared. So open a bracket, write down your x, leave the square. The sign of this middle expression is minus. Write it down. The one here, put it down, and then square everything, which is equal to what? 7 all over 4. So what do we do now? We'll take the square root of both sides. The square will take away the square root. X minus 1 will be equal to plus or minus root 7 all over 4. All right? So we have x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus. The square root of 4 is 2. So we have root 7 all over 2. 7 is not a perfect square, so we'll still leave it inside the square root. And what we we'll have now is x is equal to this minus 1 will cross and turn to plus 1, then plus or minus root 7 all over 2. So we can decide to just leave it this way, although we can go further and determine the value of root 7, but let's just leave it this way, okay? And so this is how quadratic equations are solved using the completing the square method. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. Subscribe, like, and share to your friends and your classmates. I'll see you in the next one. Keep watching.